All right. Time to check the internet today. Go to my YouTube channel and see how my videos are doing. Okay. Hey. Oh, shit. 912 views. That's really interesting. That is really, 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 really interesting. Alright guys, uh, this is David on the Doom 1 channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Doom Eternal mods. And uh, do that and all that shit. Because uh, my last tutorial that I really did Eternal got a thousand views at this point. I just cannot thank you guys enough for that. But anyway, I need to do a follow up. So I was a tad bit misleading. I thought you didn't need any mod injecting in your executable file, but apparently you do, and people don't know how to do it, so today I'm going to show you on how. First of all, go we'll grab this link in the description to install internal mod injector. So, the reason why I would not recommend downloading it from the Discord server is because... Fuck Discord. The Discord server is just... Uh, bad. I've been banned from it, and I was able to be on my whole account and snatch this, so. No Discord server report, oh. I promise. Just hit download on top. I shouldn't say there's a virus because it's a zip file. Go to downloads. Go ahead and extract. You can extract with any of your favorite zip files. I mean, if any of your, um. If any of your goddamn. fucking. zip file extracted, that's what I'm gonna say. A file manager, whatever it's called. I use it 7 zip for it, but you can use whatever you want. I guess for this tutorial, I guess I'll check for the 55th time. So, in here, we get three things in this file folder. So, we're going to go ahead and go to Steam or Bethesda Launcher. I don't know. I don't know how it works on Bethesda Launcher because I don't use that shit launcher. Sorry. Uh, go to Doom Eternal. Right click, manage, browse local files, and we're going to go ahead and go to our mod injector, and we are going to drag this shit over here. So we're going to go ahead and replace the files, because why not? And, yeah. So, what this will do, so what mod injector bat will do is it will inject the Doom Eternal x64vkey.exe. For some reason, I don't have extensions turned on like I should, but whatever, it's fine. So, the download uh, mods, it's pretty simple. Uh, I recommend Nexus Mods. It's usually a good site. However, the cons of Nexus Mods is you have to make your own account. And for most of these now, I think all of them, so, I'm going to go ahead and get a Rocket Launcher skin. Take slow download unless you're a Nexus Mods Premium member. These downloads won't take that long anyway, so... So, we're going to go back to Doom Eternal's uh, directory. Go to the Mods folder. And, as you can see, all you have to do is drag the zip files in there. Like, that's literally it. It is as simple as that, and I just realized... Um, I already had a rocket launcher skin. It doesn't even work for me. Um, I think it was the heavy cannon that wasn't working. Hold on. Okay, I don't think I have the heavy cannon. Um, so, yeah, I don't have the heavy cannon. Anyways, so yeah, all you have to do is do that. If you go to your... Uh, so we're going to go ahead and execute Eternal Mod Injector. It's going to load the config and just wait, wait and just let it do its thing. When you first uh, load the Mod Injector, it will warn you that you know, you'll inject it, recommend backing up the actual .exe file before injecting, and then after that, just go on for your day. And 
obviously it's going to inject all the mods in the mods folder and also not only that but it'll create uh, some stuff in the base folder like eternal patcher and all of that basically mod injector is supposed to be like an all-one package really and after that doom eternal will in fact launch which is pretty swagger not gonna lie so if it launches correctly like if it loads to the menu then you did it right if not um check back like go back so here we go So, after all this, it should in fact work. So, what the mod I downloaded as an example was a heavy cannon weapon skin, which replaces the decal textures of the heavy cannon's default heavy cannon. You know? So, we're going to go ahead and go to customize and let's check it out. And good news! The heavy cannon. Uh, skin I got from Nexus Mods does, in fact, work. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it in game. So let's go to Blood Swamp real quick. Let's see if it works. Okay. And as you can see, now I have a customized heavy cannon. But also a Hugo Martin's uh, convertible scope because why the fuck not? Okay, let me find this buff to him real quick. So yeah, that's about it. Um, now if you're, so I guess I'll go over some questions that you guys are probably gonna ask, and I will try answering them best as I can. These are the common questions that you'll be getting to. So, first question: Does do these mods work on, on online? Yes, they do. As, uh, specifically, the ones that replace the decals of Doom Eternal. Because, yes, they do. You see this Hugo Martin convertible on my scope? Yeah, it'll work in battle mode just fine. And not only that, but since my video of how to change your view mod off of V, now I can. Uh, let me go ahead and disable classic pose, however. Hold on a second. Okay. So, I think it was under game. Awesome. Okay. So, as you guys can see, um, this is what it looks like, you know. So, let's go ahead and go to the console. Actually, I should. It's game doing it. Hands FOB scale 1. Or any other number. Yeah, it works. Uh, so yeah, apparently if you don't inject your Doom Eternal with what I just showed you, it doesn't work. I don't have any, uh, FOB mod. So, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you got any questions related to this tutorial or the FOB model thing, um, you can check out my new Discord server. Now, I don't like doing self-promotion, but this is my best way to contact me when it comes to uh, getting help. And plus, I have very helpful moderators that can do the same amount of helping as I do for this community. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, hopefully this helps you. If not, you're on my Discord server and we can solve things out. Bye.